Are you sick and tired of your teammates dying non-stop to dumb stuff in the game, such as dying by ads, bosses, etc.? Well, this build will help you and your teammates survive even longer through beginner or end game content. In the gameplay that you're seeing on screen, I was running this mission and the power level cap is at 2005 power. So if you guys would like to have a support build for your warlock, then this build is for you. If you guys would like to check out or see the whole build, it would be right here on screen. And if you guys would like to try out the build for yourself the dim link will be in the description so if you guys like to see a build on the hunter feel free to let me know in the comments and without further ado let's get right into it let's first start with the exotic armor piece we are using for the warlock and it's called the speaker's sight the armor perk is called the voice healing grenades spawn a restorative turret healing allies occasionally spawns an orb of power so the healing turret will last up to 15 seconds and every three seconds it will release a healing healing seeker which will seek to you or your allies within 30 meters the seeker will apply times one cure and times one restoration within a 7.5 meter radius and also whenever you drop an orb of power when healing your allies the amount of super energy you're going to be receiving from that orb is 2.5 percent super energy and the cooldown between the orbs of power is 10 seconds so let's head to the prismatic warlock for the super i chose to put song of flame why? Here's what it does. Whenever you activate your super, it would basically enhance your abilities, your grenade, your melee, and your class. So the regeneration is going to regen extremely quickly. And also, whenever you activate your melee, it will unleash a supercharged melee attack that launches more additional projectiles. And also, your grenade will become a bird grenade. And whenever you were to activate it, it would seek nearby targets, and it would also detonate them in a scorching explosion. And lastly, while your super is active you and your nearby allies will regenerate abilities more quickly and they are more resistant to incoming damage and last but not least your solar and kinetic weapons will scorch targets so we are using a heavy kinetic yes you heard that right and we are using a solar energy weapon now let's talk about transcendence long story short in order for you to become transcendent you're either going to need to fill up a light or dark energy bar so if you would use solar void or arc it will fill up the light bar and if you were to use strand or stasis effects it would fill up the dark bar so it could be any effect you like it could be from your weapons or your abilities and you can also fill up both of the bars if you are using a kinetic weapon in which case we are for this build and let's just say you're going to be getting a ton of transcendence energy for this exotic kinetic power weapon we're using and of course once you proc transcendent it will replace your grenade into a prismatic grenade and that grenade is called a freezing singularity it combines void and stasis into one so it will one suppress slow and freeze that target and you can't be able to stun overload champs when you have this grenade procced because of suppression and again if you do have transcendence and you were to get kills while you have that active it will extend the duration and lastly it would also increase your grenade energy regen as well if you were to deal melee damage and same thing vice versa if you were to deal damage with your grenade it will increase the regeneration for your melee ability now let's head to the abilities for the class ability you can choose either or there's two of them you could choose from the first one is healing rift of course the generic healing rift you cast it and it creates a ring of healing effects and allies go inside and get healing and the second one is phoenix dive all you would have to do is jump in the air and activate your corresponding keybind to that class ability in which case for me it's v but for you it may be something else but for me i'm using healing rift for this build on the melee i chose to put rk needle just because of the three charges because we are using an aspect that would help us add clear even better and you can also unravel targets with this melee and of course for the grenade you have to go for a healing grenade which will convert that into a healing turret for the aspects i chose to put helion this is a new solar aspect here's what it does whenever you were to activate your class ability in this case it's our rift it will summon a solar mortar that lobs homing projectiles at a distant target targets damaged by the mortar are scorched and this will give you three fragment slots and for the second aspect which will be beneficial official for our strand melee is a lightning surge while sliding activate your charge melee ability to blink forward calling down lightning strikes that jolt targets as you rematerialize so we're going to have this three times because of our melee you can also stun overload champions because it jolts them and you're also going to be getting three fragment slots so in total we're going to be having six yes that is a boatload so it's going to be very good let's head to the first fragment this one is very good for our kinetic power weapon 
and it's called Facet of Grace. Whenever you were to defeat a target with kinetic weapons, it would grant you bonus transcendence energy. Defeating targets with your super grants you and your nearby allies bonus transcendence energy, but you would get minus 10 resilience. The second fragment is good for our aspect and our melee. The aspect that I'm talking about is Lightning Surge. Powered melee hits against targets makes you radiant. Powered melee final blows makes you and your nearby allies radiant, but you were to get minus 10 strength. So the cooldown for Radiant for this fragment is 5 seconds, but we could be able to increase it even further with one of our seasonal artifacts called Radiant Orbs. While you have a Solar or Prismatic subclass equipped, it, picking up an Orb of Power makes you Radiant. So whenever you pick up an Orb of Power, you would get 10 seconds, and you could also refresh the timer because of this fragment called Facet of Dawn. And on the third fragment, be sure to go for Facet of Bravery because whenever defeating a target with a powered melee final blow, it will grant unraveling rounds to your strand weapons. In this case, we are using a strand sidearm, and that is pretty busted in PvE. And of course, we are going to be using our lightning surge to get tons of melee kills, which procs unraveling rounds. On the fourth fragment, be sure to go for facet of balance. Rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee energy, and also rapidly defeating targets with darkness damage will grant grenade energy. And your fifth fragment, be sure to go for facet of awakening. Rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness damage or super final blows will generate an elemental pickup of the matching damage type and you're also going to be getting plus 10 resilience so in this case we are going to be getting a fire spray an aeonic trace and also a tangle and the sixth and final fragment you need to put on is facet of purpose picking up an orb of power grants either amplified restoration frost armor woven mail or an overshield based on the damage type of your equipped super but you would get minus 10 recovery so in this case we are using a solar super so we are going to be getting restoration from this let's now head to the weapons for the build for the kinetic weapon this is primarily my favorite weapon to use currently right now and it's called the call it is a strand sidearm such like the indebted kindness which that one is a arc sidearm here are the perks that i do recommend you should be going for you can actually choose one of these two perks on the third column the first one is good for generating more class ability energy and it's called the strategist final blows with this weapon will generate class ability energy and also whenever you were to activate your class ability it would briefly improve this weapon stability that's if you want to take more priority of your rift and the second one you can go for is slice casting your rift allows this weapon to sever targets on hit for a brief duration up to a maximum number of stacks and if that target is severed he will deal 40 percent less damage to you and on the fourth column be sure to go for vorpal weapon because it will increase the damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their supers active by 15 percent what's also cool about this sidearm is that the origin trait is called the dealer's choice final blows with this weapon will grant a small amount of super energy and if we were to equip multiple weapons from the pale heart it will increase this effect in which case we are because of our energy weapon and the energy weapon is called no hesitation this is by far one of my favorite 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 weapons in the entire game and it's called physic rapidly healing allies grants you and your allies restoration for an improved duration and the fourth column you could choose is circle of life rapidly healing allies grants this weapon an approved period of increased damage now let's head to the exotic weapon i am using for this build and it's called the microcosm the intrinsic trait is called paracausal beam fires a beam of kinetic light dealing massive bonus damage to shields that part doesn't matter the main thing that matters is the weapon perk called paracausal imbuement final blows with this weapon grants super energy this weapon also gains bonus damage once your super expires so this is good for generating transcendence energy and also dealing tons of damage to a single target and also getting more super energy so if you guys would like to check out the seasonal artifacts it would be right here on screen if you are interested now let's head to the stats for the build your main goal for this build is to get tier 10 recovery because it would one reduce the cooldown of your class ability and two it will increase the spread at which you regain lost health but that part doesn't matter because we are going to be getting unlimited restoration to my teammates and myself and your second priority for your stats is resilience which will give you a 30 percent damage reduction if you have tier 10 so basically the gameplay loop for this build is to basically just get your charges for your no hesitation and once you do just hit fire your targets or should i say your teammates you and your teammate will get restoration and also you can use your healing rift and also your healing turret to give more healing to your teammates and if you guys did enjoy this build video feel free to hit that like button and also 
also subscribe. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening, or afternoon. Take care and peace. Join the Discord!